This episode of Android Q&A is brought to you by HipChat Plus. So for both the casual user and the certified Android geek, battery life has become the new battleground when it comes to mobile device innovation. So the question is, what is Quick Charge 2.0? How does it work and is it worth it? Now the reality is current mobile battery capacity often cannot meet the needs of power users like you and me. So the next best thing is to shorten the time it takes to charge those batteries. And that's where Quick Charge 2.0 comes in. But before we get into that into detail, let's talk about just exactly how charging works to begin with. Essentially, batteries are charged by the current delivered to them by the power source. Applying additional current at a set battery voltage results in more power, which can result in faster charging, but also requires sturdier charging components that can withstand those higher power levels. Different amp specifications on different charging adapters alter the time it takes to charge your phone, but there's a maximum limit to how much current can be pushed through. So Quick Charge 2.0 is supported by all of Qualcomm's latest system on a chips. And the bottom line is that they're designed to charge your phone at a faster rate than previous versions. But how well does it work? With battery life still struggling to accommodate the needs of the heaviest smartphone users, reducing charging times is the next best thing. Qualcomm's Quick Charge technology aims to do just that. The latest 2.0 version boasts up to 75% faster charging times than standard devices, and HTC stats that are using the Rapid Charge 2.0 adapter states that you can charge your smartphone 60% in just 30 minutes. Now the obvious question is, do you need a new power adapter? And in short, yes. If you check the current rating of the mains adapter that came with your smartphone, you'll probably find that it's rated anywhere between one and two amps, depending on its age. Quick Charge 2.0 can juice up from a maximum of three amps, so you'll need a mains plug source capable of outputting a higher amount of current than your typical phone charger to make full use of the technology. Now the good news is you don't have to worry about branding. Even though most manufacturers make their own adapters, most of them are cross compatible. So how do you know if your device is Quick Charge 2.0 compatible? Well, we can start here. The Snapdragon 200, 400, 410, 615, 800, 801, 805, and 810 are Quick Charge 2.0 compatible. So guys, I'm curious, what matters to you most when it comes to battery life? Would you just prefer that manufacturers give you a removable battery so you can have multiple batteries to back up? Or would you like more technologies and innovations like Quick Charge 2.0, which charges your device quicker, or just bigger batteries, which is gonna mean slightly thicker phones? Let me know what you think. So many of you will know that I've been with Android Authority well over a year now, and I've worked very closely with a team of 20 to 22 people, and yet I've never met any of them personally, ever. How do we do that? Well, we need great collaboration tools, and boy, do we need a tool like this one. HipChat Plus is an instant messaging, video chat, document sharing, screen sharing, code sharing, all integrated into one simple platform. And the best part is that HipChat integrates with the top developer tools like GitHub, Jira, Zendesk, and check out the 57 services that HipChat plays nice with. HipChat allows your team to be productive now. Now HipChat has a great deal for all of you. If you go to hipchat.com forward slash Android Authority right now, you can sign up for a free 30-day trial, but it gets even better if you're quick. For the first 100 signups, HipChat's willing to extend their 30-day trial to 90 days. But move quickly, because those 100 signups are gonna go really fast. Check out hipchat.com forward slash Android Authority. Thanks for watching Android Army. My name is Jace. I'd love to connect with you right here on Google Plus or Twitter. I read all my comments and I replies and respond to as many as I can. You don't want to forget about my brethren in Android, Josh, Joe, and the Tech Ninja, Kevin, Lon and Chris, Gary and Ash, all working real hard to deliver the best Android content on the web. You don't want to miss our CES coverage. There's a lot of it and it's a lot of great stuff. I shall see you next week on Android Q&A.